Hello, welcome to another episode of Mother Baby and Us. Um, today is a little Christmas festive bonus episode, isn't it? In January. In January. But I've got my I got my, my Christmas socks on and we got our Christmas mugs. I didn't mugs. know you were going to get in that then. <laughs> <laughs> got Christmas mugs. I got my snowflake earrings on and we're still decorated for Christmas because it's January for recording. It's January for recording? That it's makes not, no sense. It's, it's December. I Oh. <laughs> Christmas hasn't happened yet. Anyway, yes, that was too long explaining why we're doing a festive episode. Mm. Um, we are doing a look back, a quick look back of how the year went. Yes. And then a look forward of what we're excited about. It's a nice little short episode because it's Christmas. Mm. Nobody wants to be filming a podcast at Christmas. We've already clocked off, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Christmas mode. <laughs> Mother, baby and us. Okay, so... Peaks and pits, I reckon we start off with. This was something that we've stolen off our lovely friend, Maxi Lee, our makeup artist. Yep. Who likes to do peaks and pits of the day she when we love location. She loves a little peak and a pit of the day. Yeah. So, a little shout out to Maxi Lee. Um, what are your... Let's start with pits. Okay, you go first. So, my pit of the year was how slow the year started. Yeah. Like the industry, we talked about this on a previous podcast mm-hmm. um, with Debbie, but the industry took a bit of a nosedive last year and it was a little bit scary for a little bit mm-hmm. um, and we were quite quiet. So that was my pit that we had quite a quiet start of the year. But I mean, it worked out for the best because yeah. it allowed us time to do other things that needed to be done that we wanted to do. So it's not really a, a massive pit, but I would have preferred to have more yeah. actual clients in. Oh, Absolutely. Like, we were able to put the bills and blocks in place for everything that we've done yeah. this year, but, I mean, a few more clients never... We, yeah. we never shy away from a couple more clients. Well, I do quite I often. would never shy away from a few more clients. Um, my pit this year was all of the vendors that we've lost, in particular Kuchiko. Yeah. I am so sad that we have lost Kuchiko. I'm so sad that we've lost a lot of vendors. A lot. Like a every lot. time we log on, there's another one going, right, we're going out of business, we're closing down. Yeah, and like I went to order some, we've got some really beautiful headbands, really delicate little beautiful headbands that we bought in the newborn show last year. The year before. It wasn't one last year, was it? The year before. Yeah, 2022 was the last one, wasn't it? I can't remember. It's been a while. It, in the last one, anyway. And I went to go on their website to order a couple more because we wanted some in other colours, and it was gone. Mm. I know. Don't tell me you were ordering headbands. Don't tell me everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, buying things. Kuchiko. I am. I'm really sad about Kuchiko. Yeah. I mean, we've filled out our yeah. prop cupboard with a lot of Kuchiko in the last couple of months because they were closing down. We just we knew there wasn't going to be another opportunity. Yeah. A few times. Um, yeah. So when they uploaded at a discounted rate, our favourite things that they sell, we stocked shelves. So our cupboards are looking lovely. They are. Mm. All of the curly furs. Love yeah. them. Again, a pit with a bit, bit of a peak in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's definitely a pit. I'm, yeah. I'm sad to see him go. Okay, peaks. Peaks. Go on. Um, my peak, I think, is YouTube this year. It's been a really good year for us on YouTube. We've nice. actually grown. And I think a lot to do with the fact that your pit happened. Yes. We managed to get your peak. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. It does, yeah. Um, yeah, so we've been able to grow our YouTube channel. We actually hit 2,000 subscribers. Yeah. Like, loving life. We got like, outrageous. we got like super duper loads of views on some of our videos and it's like really yeah. nice, isn't it? I mean, we're not YouTuber status yet, but we're getting there. Chip away slowly, <laughs> isn't it? Next time next year. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, my peak was all of the locations... So no one in particular, but just the fact that we've been to some really fabulous locations this year. Yeah. Uh, as much as Paris was a shambles, it was lovely to be able to do the sessions in Paris yeah. and get what we, we did get. Um, but like Laycock Abbey, that was a fabulous that was, one. That was a dream one that was. Uh, yeah, it was fabulous. Um, the reveal shoot that we did on Three Clips yeah. Bay. Like, it's been loads this year that I've I've thought, oh, do you know what? This is a lovely one. Mm. Yeah, quite so a few beaches. Yeah, so I think we've gone out and about quite a lot this year. Yeah, we? yeah, we did the Seven Beach underneath the Seven Bridge. Yeah, we've done a couple in Swansea. Yeah, there's been quite seven a few. Burn. I can't even remember half of them. I know there's been loads, and it's really nice because like 
that's our that's our focus in there to get to yeah, studio stuff is nice yeah we like studio stuff but location stuff we is love nice. being on location yeah. and the, the problem solving of the whole situation yeah hmm. we've got a nice one coming up now literally in the next we'll be talking about next year sorry ahead of myself that's all for the next bit okay let's move on to the next bit then i'm excited da dum <laughs> Um, okay, so I think that needs to be our first point is the places that we've got kind of lined up, raveling, ready. Yeah, okay. we've, we've got one literally like in the next couple of weeks, haven't we? That is going to be fabulous. Yes, two weeks away, I think. Mm. Wells Cathedral. Mm. Haven't been there before. No, it looks amazing though. It does. Got the lowdown off one of our friends that works in film. Yeah, friends in high places. <laughs> she sent us a load of different locations that were. I don't know what she filmed. We'll have to find out what was filmed there. That they, she's used, or not she personally has used, but she's worked on films that have used those locations. Yeah. Um, sent them all over to the client, and this is the one she's picked, and I'm very glad she went with this one, because it's fabulous. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, yeah, and that's going to be a really nice one, because a lot of these locations, they don't give you, like, um, exclusivity, exclusive access, mm. and it's nice, because what they're doing is they're calling off the stairs that lead up to the place that we're going to be doing the main mm. part of the session, um, so none of the public get to come and wedding i haven't got it in the background like i am going to edit that we did one wedding last year because i refused to do weddings um we did one wedding that we were made to do um and the amount of people i had to take out to the background because they didn't actually close off the castle for the no, wedding i know it must have cost them a fortune to buy that venue and they didn't close the castle off so i've got little people with backpacks on yeah. after their little hikes in the background of all the photos it took me ages mm. And I, how many times do you have to edit a dog having a poo on the beach oh. in the background of, of each session? Every single time. I don't know how that manages to happen, but every time. I don't even think they're allowed on the beach. Certain times of the year, isn't it? Anyway, I digress. Yes. So, that's going to be a lovely one. Yeah. And just more travelling in general, isn't it? Yes. Like different locations. One really excited bit of travelling, which is not technically for... Se- for shooting but we will be shooting while we're there yes so education yeah so this is linked, education this is linked into is travel and it's education so we try and kind of educate ourselves as much as we can every year don't we we don't kind of sit i like to learn yeah and like if somebody is doing um like a webinar or like talking about our niche not even our niche because i had to watch like business ones well not even that i will walk, watch any kind of photography webinar really I mean, some of them are quite boring, but you'll hear things that are not technically for our niche, but you go, oh, how could I work that into, do you know what I mean? And it'll yeah. twig, twig something and make me think, oh, let's go and try that. Mm. And I'll try and do, like implement it within our business. The advice is not technically for um, newborn and maternity, but I'll try and then sometimes it works. Yeah. So you never know. But we're always, we're always watching some kind of webinar or somebody talk mm. about something and... Um, yeah, this year we have booked to go to WPPI, which has been a dream for a long time, haven't it? Yes, been trying to get out there so long. Yes, it is in Vegas. It is, I re- I, it, as much as everyone's like, oh, that's amazing, you're going to Vegas and it's gonna be, you're not going to do that much education. I kind of wish it wasn't in Vegas because it makes it a lot harder to get to the places we need to get to, but it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, and it, like it is going to be a full on week, isn't it? Like really intense because like there's classes starting at like half eight in the morning. Yeah. Um, there's networking events n- until late at night. Late early at early night. morning. Yeah, and we're get, going to try and get some sessions in while we're out there, and we yeah we w- really want to do a maternity session in the desert. Yeah. And all the national parks. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have time to do all of this. Or are we going to get into any of them? No, because we haven't hired a car. I mean, we're going to have to hire a car. No work out in the end. Um, our videographer has actually come in with us for this one because it's not just for maternity and newborn, it's actually for weddings as well. Yeah. And that's his main mm. kind of videography, photography niche. So he has also come along with us. Yeah. I don't It'll know. Fun. I don't know whether that's more of a hindrance than a help, if I'm honest, I because he likes to send us a little message with new ideas. Um, girls, how do you feel about hiring a motorbike <laughs> for the desert? <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> I said there's three of us on my motorbike. So is there like one on the back and one in the sidecar or what? <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm not going to ride any bikes with Palmer. 
got no chance no. anyway um yeah it's five days of classes yeah and networking events yeah and just general shooting and i'm very excited yes it's gonna be lovely yeah so that that's kind of a tick in the travel box and also education and also bucket list mm, absolutely <laughs> yeah so wbpi in march mm-hmm. for a week there are also other um what are they called conferences? conferences other conferences that we would like to attend that we are working out logistics of yeah so there's another one in america in texas isn't there that we would really like to go to but we have small children <laughs> we do <clears throat> so there's other things that need to kind of be factored in with that but if we can do that one as well that would be amazing yeah. but wppi is like goals anyway yeah i'm excited and also we get to see karen bagley in real life and andrew bagley which we've been trying to do for ages we did a mentorship on we the did. educational front yeah um we did a mentorship with back with them no with them back in 2020 21 2021 um Obviously one to one because they're in America, and we absolutely love them. And I just want to give them a big hutch. Hug. We didn't do one to one. We did do one to one, but it was via Zoom. Yeah, one to one mentorship via Zoom. Yes, because because they were in America and we were in the in the UK. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So and it would just it just be really nice to actually meet them in person, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we're gonna go and have a little bit of dinner with them. Yeah. Not education, but networking. Hmm. Mm, lovely. Okay, so as well as all of the classes and all of the shoots and everything else, um, that's also going to give us a lot more content to be posting. And I like the fact that we've managed to kind of get into a bit of a steady rhythm with what we're posting. Yeah. It's like... It took a lot of work, didn't it, to get into a point where we were ahead of ourselves enough that we yeah. could take our foot off a little bit yeah. and relax and enjoy it. And not stressing over, oh my God, we haven't got a video for this week. I mean, that still happens now and again. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. that's when something had fallen through and like... There's a gap in our calendar for some for a random yes. reason. So I think just lots more content, lots of tutorials, because that's what kind of most people come to us for, and they like yeah. that's that's our biggest watch videos are the the wrapping tutorials for either silk wraps for maternity or the different wraps that we do for newborn. Yeah, which so I, I hate filming, but it is what it is. Uh, so I think we just need to get some more in the diary for yeah tutorials. and lives because we did a live we newborn did. session with outstanding baby yeah and i think like that was really good yeah able to ask questions real time as we've done it mm -hmm. so that helped with like knowing what people want to see and wherever so yeah probably do a lot more lives so yeah get some more lives in there and hopefully get in some other photographers or just other guests to kind of live with us and it and yeah. kind of on the podcast and doing live streams yeah have people involved so it's not just chatting so not just us not listen to the same stories over and over again <laughs> i think it's also going to be nice that we've put in so much groundwork this year now leading up to christmas that we always say oh we need to do that but never actually do yeah that going into january we already had a steady stream of clients that had already booked and we know that we've got yes. the work there whereas last year we were like oh my god we haven't started marketing yeah now it's christmas holidays and we haven't got time to market mm-hmm and, and we, we've always taken our foot off the gas over Christmas and New Year. But it's because you work so hard on that run up to Christmas that you just run up with steam, don't you? Yeah. But, I mean, it's taken us 11 years. But <laughs> we finally <clears throat> put a plan in place, didn't we? So that yeah, we kind early. of, yes, we filmed plenty of content and scheduled it for the full month. We, um, we just, we made sure that everything was there so that yeah. we can just break shut off <laughs> yeah and spend time with family because that is like super important as much as we spend like a lot of time in work and it's draining and you yeah. put in so much effort every single day yeah you've got to have that time to switch off and go home and spend it with your family so we've made sure that we have not we don't have a lull in what's being posted on social media our marketing is still running over christmas and new yeah. year that we don't have any downtime so that we can take a little bit of time off and when we come back into work everything is kind of how we left it mm. and it's not it's working for us yeah i i feel like we are very settled in where we are in what we're doing we're very comfortable i hate our word i okay. hate being comfortable no, but we're comfortable in the general day-to-day -day running yeah. and we're pushing ourselves in the things that we want 
Yeah. To we're heading towards the our goals yes. rather than just plateauing and just plodding along. Because it's nice to actually be comfortable with socials because for yeah. so long we have been treading water and drowning. <laughs> sinking rapidly um, <clears throat> because it's a job in itself like yeah. it's a full-time job just to run socials so again so when we have a bit of a quiet lull it's nice to just sit work out what you've got to be able to post mm. get it all up and scheduled it's really frustrating it won't let me do more than 28 days in advance because every day I come in and I'm doing 28 days in advance that, that last one that it wouldn't let me do yesterday but <clears throat> it's really nice to know that for the next month Everything is planned for social media. Don't get me wrong, we're still going to be doing like stories and lives and uploading a reel here and there. But the majority of what used to stress us out for that, it's just nice it's to be. It's the group posts and stuff that's got all the information yeah. that customers need to know in it. Like yeah. all the um, keyword in yeah. and all of that. We haven't got to stress about have we got enough keywords in this post yeah. and everything because we've sat down and thought about what we need to post without doing it last minute and going, oh, I've missed that off. Or I've tagged that person and it's all done. Yeah. Organization. Oh, I love, love, <laughs> love being organized. Love it. That's also something that's going to happen this year. Yeah. You're going to so, turn the iPad into a notebook because I am fed up by your notebooks. We bought an iPad Pro to use as a notebook so that we weren't wasting trees and we've still got about 60,000 notebooks on the go. Okay, so the issue is we've got um, like my day to day notebook that I use every time a client comes in. I write all my notes in my notebook. That's what notebooks are. Then we have the client order notebook then we have the youtube notebook then we have general social notebook and we have our goals and plans notebook and abigail's notebook that nothing really goes in <laughs> she just writes random things in there when she goes back she's like what does that mean <laughs> um and then we have a folder with all of our loose um, finances and yeah so our, our um, man plan. monetary goals for every month and our client trackers and all the things that are done digitally and printed off so technically they could be just yeah on just the on iPad. ipad but you know what it is though like when it's on the ipad because you can delete it and do it again and delete it and do it again and it's not perfect you'll keep deleting yeah it. and it's never going to be perfect and then I think, oh, well, that don't look very nice. Let's change the font on that. Oh, well, if I change the font on that, then I'll change it on, on that one. And oh, well, we need to put a sticker on there now. And all oh, that needs to be colour-coded. And it's just, you go down a rabbit hole. And do you know what? There's somebody that I follow on YouTube that does it all so beautifully. It's absolutely gorgeous. But also, that's her full-time job. It's just making planners. So Imagine that being your job. I know. It's just so lovely. She's got, like, her own range of stickers. And, like, you can buy these planners. And... Like buy one of our planners buy, then. I was literally, that came to us at the same time then. Let's just buy one of her planners. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but it's still like, I don't know. I just feel like we are going to end up taking, something else. taking so much time over something that takes me two minutes to write in a book. Think of the trees. My New Year's resolution is to try my hardest for the sake of Abigail's Twitch and I to put things in. It's a very expensive iPad. The iPad that we bought specifically to be a notebook that and we now use we it. now literally just use it for the till <laughs> the till and for me to watch formula one on well there we are you've got something to watch formula one on i didn't need to spend that much money to watch formula one no come watch on my phone oh it's better than your phone though isn't it great so that is our little roundup festive bonus episode 2023 2024 yes um we have got so much more content coming up this year, guys. So please leave us your questions below. Let us know your thoughts on how the industry is at the moment or how you think it's going to go in the next year or what you would like us to film. Anything you want to let us know, put it in the comments. What you've got planned. Because like, if you heard about what we've got planned, tell us yeah. what you've got planned. Leave it in the comments and we will put it in an episode. Yes. Um, or make a video, a whole video about it. Um, we hope you've had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. And we will see you soon. Bye. Mother, baby, and us.